Marie Lynn from Itching for Some Stitching, and today I'd like to share with you how to crochet by Capriana Beret. Full written instructions for the Capriana Beret can be found in the Studio Crochet Magazine, Issue 3, the Earth Edition. I may eventually put the PDF for sale in my store or put it for free on my blog. So I will put the link to the magazine, the store, and the website in the description for this tutorial so that you can check all three resources for those written instructions. This tutorial is written in US terminology. The skills you will need are the chain stitch, the single crochet, the double crochet, the treble crochet, and the slip stitch. To crochet this pattern, you will need some medium for worsted weight yarn. I am using Karen Simply Soft, and this is my recommended yarn for this pattern. You will need a tapestry needle to weave in your ends. You will need a 4.25 millimeter hook, or whatever hook you need to meet gauge. You will need a pair of embroidery scissors. You will need some, a measuring tape. You should have some stitch markers on hand, although you may or may not need them. This is completely optional. You will also need either an iron, a steamer, some blocking pins, a blocking board, and a spray bottle of water to block your project. To start this project, we are going to chain eight and then close a circle with a slip stitch, or you can use the magic ring. I will either put the link in this video or in the description of this video on how to do the magic ring. I'm gonna go ahead and do the chain eight slip stitch version. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to join my first and last stitches with a slip stitch. Okay, and this creates a ring for us to work in. Okay, so to start round one, we want to chain four. One, two, three, four. This counts as a double crochet and a chain. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to double crochet into the ring We're going to chain one. Okay, and now we're going to repeat that 11 more times a double crochet and a chain one into the ring 11 times. That's one. Two. three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, and 11. To close this round, we want to slip stitch into the third chain of the chain three to close. It's a little hard to see in here, 
right here. This is chain one, chain two, and this is chain three right here. So that's where we're gonna make our slip stitch. Okay, and we have officially closed this round. Since our starting chain three counted as a double crochet, we have 12 double crochets in this first round. To start round two, we are going to chain one and we're going to single crochet into the next chain one space, which is right here. Now we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. And now we're going to skip the next two double crochets that's here and here. Now we'll also be skipping the chain one space that's in between them, but throughout this round, you will hear me say, skip the next two double crochets, and then you're going to single crochet into the next chain one space. So not the one in between these two double crochets because we're skipping those, but the next one. Chain four, one, two, three, four, skip the next two double crochets, single crochet in the next chain one space. Chain four, one, two, three, and four. Skip the next two double crochets, single crochet in the next chain one space. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Skip the next two double crochets, single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Skip the next two double crochets, single crochet into the next chain one space. And chain four, one, two, three, four. We are skipping the next two double crochets and we're going to close this off by slip stitching into our first single crochet. We just completed round two, two and you should have six chain four spaces. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so for round three, we are going to chain one. And then what we're going to do is we are going to single crochet into the same single crochet as we have put our last slip stitch. So when we closed round two, where we put that slip stitch, we're gonna go back into the same stitch and we are going to place a single crochet. Okay. Now we're going to chain one and then we are going to double crochet and chain one four times into this next chain four space. So that's one double crochet and one chain. So that's one. One double crochet and one chain, that's two. One double crochet and one chain, that's three. So we have one double crochet and one chain, and that is four. Now what we want to do is we want to place a single crochet in the next single crochet, which is right here. And then we want to chain one, okay? Now what we want to do is double crochet, chain one four times into the next chain four space. So we're going to yarn over, double crochet, chain one, and that's one. Double crochet, chain one, that's two. Double crochet, chain one, that's three. 
double crochet and chain one and that's four. We're going to go ahead again and single crochet into this next single crochet and chain one. Okay. We're going to go ahead and repeat the four double crochets, chain one into the chain four space. Four times, so that's one. Two. Three. And four. We want to single crochet into the next single crochet and chain one. Again, we're going to make four double crochet chain ones into the next chain four space. One. Two. Three. And four. Okay. We're going to single crochet into the next single crochet. And chain one. Again, we're going to do four double crochet chain ones into the next chain four space. That's one. Two. Three. And there's four. You're going to single crochet into the next single crochet and chain one. And we're going to place four double crochet chain ones into the last chain four space. That's one. Two. Three and there is four. Now, what we want to do to close this round is slip stitch to the first single crochet, which is right here. And we have just completed round three. To start round four, we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. This counts as one treble crochet and one chain stitch. The next thing we're going to do is treble crochet into the same stitch that we have our slip stitch, which is right here. So to do a treble crochet, we're going to yarn over once, yarn over twice. Insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay. Now what we're going to do is chain one. We're going to skip the next two double crochets, and then we are going to treble crochet, chain one, four times into the next single crochet. That's one. Two. 
two. Three. Four. We're going to skip the next two double crochets and single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one. Again, we're going to skip the next two double crochets and we are going to treble crochet chain one four times into the next single crochet. That's one. Two. Three. and four. We're going to skip the next two double crochets and we're going to single crochet into the chain one space. Chain one. We're going to skip the next two double crochets and we are going to make four treble crochet chain ones into the next single crochet. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna skip the next two double crochets and we're going to single crochet into the chain one space. Chain one. And now we're going to skip the next two double crochets and make four treble crochet chain ones into the next single crochet. It's one. Two, three, and four. We're going to skip the next two double crochets and single crochet into the chain one space. Chain one, skip the next two double crochets, treble crochet chain one four times into the next single crochet. One, two, Three, and four. So that, now what we're going to do is we're going to skip the next two double crochets. We are going to single crochet into the chain one space. Chain one. And what we're going to do to close this round is we're going to create only two more treble crochet chain ones and we're going to do it right here in the same space as this chain five and this treble crochet.
that's one. And that's two. So now effectively what we have in this space right here is four treble crochet chain one spaces. There's one here, one here, and one here, and then one here. Okay, so that's four. And what we're going to do to close this is we're going to slip stitch to the fourth chain of the chain five. So that is, let's kind of tuck this down so you can see, one, two, three, and four, that's right here. Okay, and we have just completed round four. So for round five, we're going to start off by chaining six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. This counts as a treble crochet and a chain two. We're gonna go and we're going to skip the next two stitches, which is this one and this one, and we're going to treble crochet into the next chain one space right here. Okay. And then we want to treble crochet into the single crochet right next to it. Then we're going to treble crochet into the next chain one space right next to it. So now we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to skip the next treble crochet. We're going to skip the next chain one space and we are going to treble crochet into this treble crochet right here. So now what we're going to do is we are going to treble crochet into the next chain one space. And then we're going to treble crochet into the next treble crochet. Okay. And then we're going to chain two. We're going to skip the next chain one space. We're going to skip the next treble crochet and we're going to treble crochet into the next chain one space. Okay, and we're going to treble crochet into the next single crochet. And we're going to treble crochet into the next chain one space. And we're going to chain two. Okay, so effectively what we're doing here is we're chaining two. We are going to skip the next two and we are going to treble crochet in the next three stitches. It doesn't matter what they are. It doesn't matter if it is a chain stitch, a treble crochet, or a single crochet. The pattern for round five is chain two, skip two stitches, doesn't matter what they are, and then three treble crochets, and it doesn't matter where you place those three treble, which, it, what type of stitch you place those three treble crochets into. Okay, so I've just chained two, I'm going to skip this treble crochet and I'm going to skip this chain one and I'm going to treble crochet into this treble crochet. Okay, now I'm going to treble crochet into the next chain one space. Okay, 
And now I'm going to treble crochet into the next treble crochet. I'm going to chain two. And so now, now we're going to skip the next two stitches, which is a chain one space and a treble crochet. And we're going to go into the chain one space, the single crochet, chain one space. We're going to chain two. We're going to skip the next two stitches, which is a treble crochet and a chain one space, and we're going to go into the treble crochet, chain one space, treble crochet. chain two and we're, now we're going to skip the next two stitches which is a chain one space a treble crochet we're going to go into the chain one space single crochet chain one space chain two, skip your next two stitches, which are a treble crochet and a chain one space. You're going to go into the treble crochet, the chain one space, the treble crochet. chain two, skip your next two stitches, which are a chain one space and a treble crochet, and you're going to go into the chain one space, single crochet, chain one space. chain two, skip your next two stitches, which are a treble crochet and a chain one space, and you're going to go into the next treble crochet, chain one space, treble crochet. chain two. So now you're going to skip your next two stitches, which are a chain one space and a treble crochet. You're going to go into the chain one space, the single crochet, chain one space. chain two. Okay, and we're going to skip our next two stitches, 
which are a treble crochet, a chain one space, and we're going to go into the next two stitches, which is a treble crochet and a chain one space, and that will meet up with our chain six right here, which remember counted as a treble crochet and a chain two going this direction. Okay, so to close this round, we want to slip stitch to the fourth chain of the chain six. So that would be one, two, three, and four, leaving two chains behind for that chain two. Okay, and we have just completed round five. To start round six, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. This counts as one treble crochet. We're going to go ahead and make three treble crochets into the next chain two space. One, two, and three. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to chain two and we are going to skip the next two stitches which is a treble crochet and a treble crochet and we're going to make one treble crochet into the next treble crochet. Now we're going to go ahead and put three treble crochets into the chain two space. That's one. Two. And three. And now we're going to repeat from the chain two. So we're going to chain two, skip your next two stitches, which are treble crochets, treble crochet, three treble crochets into the chain two space. That's two. three, oops, okay. And what you should notice at this point is that we are now increasing our treble crochets from one round to the next. So on round five, we had three and we skipped two stitches in between. Now we're gonna have four and we're gonna skip two stitches in between. Let's put our fourth one in here. chain two, skip the next two, and go into the third one, and place a, a treble crochet. And then three treble crochets into the chain two space. One, two, and three. Chain two, skip the next two, go into the third stitch, and make a treble crochet, and then work three treble crochets into the chain two space. One, two, 
and three. Chain two, skip two, go into your third treble crochet and make a treble crochet. Now put three treble crochets into the chain two space. One, two, three, chain two, Skip your next two treble crochets, go into your third one, make a treble crochet, and then work three treble crochets into the chain two space. One, two, and three. Now we're going to make a chain two, and we're going to work our next single crochet into this third, and we're going to work our next treble crochet into this third treble crochet here, skipping these two. And then we're going to work three treble crochets into the chain two space. One, two, and three. Chain two, skip your next two stitches, and treble crochet into the third stitch, which is a treble crochet. Now work three treble crochets into the chain two space. Now we're going to chain two. Again, skipping the next two stitches and treble crocheting into the third one. Now we're going to make three treble crochets into the chain two space. That's two, we'll do one more. Now we're going to chain two. And we are going to treble crochet into the third treble crochet, skipping two stitches. Now we are going to work three treble crochets into the chain two space. Chain two. We are skipping the next two stitches and placing a treble crochet into the third treble crochet. And we're going to place three treble crochets into the chain two space. Chain two, 
And to end this round, we are skipping the next two treble crochets. And we are going to slip stitch to the top of the chain four to close. One, two, three, and four. There we go. Okay. And we have just completed round six. And you may notice that your hat is starting to curl up. Okay, so you may have to kind of flatten it as you're working. And that's okay, because once we get to a certain point, we're going to go ahead and we are going to block this and flatten it out. Okay, to start round seven, we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This counts as one treble crochet and a chain two. So we are gonna go ahead and skip the next two stitches, the next two treble crochets, and we are going to make two treble crochets into the third stitch or the third treble crochet. One, two, and we're gonna place two in here. one, and that's two. Next, what we want to do is we want to work three treble crochets into the next chain two space. That's one. two, and three, okay? So what you can see now is going from round six to round seven, we have increased from four treble crochets to five treble crochets. So let's chain two, skip your next two treble crochets, and treble crochet into the next two stitches. One, two, we're gonna go into this stitch. And this stitch. And then we're gonna work three treble crochets into the chain two space. One, two, and three. Okay, now we're going to chain two. Skip our next two stitches, which is a treble crochet, treble crochet. One, tre one treble crochet into the, each of the next two stitches. and then three single crochets into the chain two space. That's one. Two. And three. Chain two. Skip our next two treble crochets and treble crochet into the next two treble crochets. Okay, and now we're gonna place three treble crochets into the chain two space. That's one. two, and three. Chain two, skip our next two treble crochets, and treble crochet in the next two treble crochets. Okay. 
and then we're going to chain or and then we're going to make three treble crochets into the next chain two space. One, two, and three. Okay, now we're going to chain two, skip our next two treble crochets and make one treble crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then we're going to work three treble crochets into the next chain two space. And here we are on three. And then we're going to chain two, skip our next two treble crochets and treble crochet in each of the next two treble crochets. And again, we are going to make three treble crochets into the next chain two space. It's one. two, and three. Okay. Chain two, skip your next two treble crochets, and treble crochet into the next two treble crochets. And then we are going to make three treble crochets into the chain two space. This is two, and here's our final one. Chain two, and again, skipping the next two stitches and treble crocheting into the next two stitches after that. So skip, skip, treble crochet. Treble crochet. And then we are going to work three treble crochets into the chain two space. There's one. two, and three. We're going to chain two once more, skipping the next two stitches and treble crocheting into the next two stitches. And now we're going to work three treble crochets into the next chain two space. It's one, two, and three, chain two, Again, skipping the next two stitches and treble crocheting into the next two stitches. And then making three treble crochets into the chain two space. It's one. two, and three. Okay. 
Again, we are going to chain two. Skip our next two stitches, treble crochet into the next two stitches. Skip, skip. It's one and two. Okay, now instead of crocheting three treble crochets into this chain two space, we're only going to put two. Okay, and so what you see here are four treble crochets, and remember that this starting chain of six did count as a treble crochet, so that's actually going to be our fifth treble crochet. So we are going to slip stitch into the fourth chain to close this round. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and as you can see, that leaves a chain two space there, keeping the pattern together. Okay. So that concludes round seven. Okay, so what we're going to do to start round eight is chain one, and then we're going to single crochet three times into the next chain two space. One, two, and three. Okay, then we're going to single crochet into each of the next five treble crochets. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and put three single crochets into the chain two space. One, two, three, and then three single crochets into your next five treble crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and as you can see, for round eight, we are going to be creating a round of single crochets, okay, all the way around by making three single crochets into each chain two space and one single crochet into each treble crochet. So I want you to go ahead and do that and meet me right around here and I will show you how to close round eight. So to close this round, we are going to place a slip stitch into the chain one of the previous round. That's this little stitch right here. So we're going to slip stitch. Okay, and we have just closed round eight. At the end of round eight, you should have 96 single crochets. Okay, so to start round nine, we are going to chain one. And then what we are gonna do is we are going to be working in the back loop only. So crochet stitches have two loops. This is your front loop, and this loop right here is your back loop. And that's the loop that we are gonna be working in for all of round nine, all the way around. Okay, so we are going to start in the very first single crochet, which is right here, into the back loop, and we're going to single crochet there. And in the next one, and in the next one. Okay, and we're going to do that all the way around and we get back to the start here i will show you how to close that off okay so here i am at the end of round nine i have made a single crochet into the back loop of each stitch all the way around and i am back here at the end now this is where i should point out um, that it might be easier for some if they placed a stitch marker into the chain one um, at the start of the round during the single crochet rounds, this one, eight and nine, only because it might be easier to help you figure out where your stitches are. So this right here is the chain, is the chain one. 
Okay, so for the end of round nine, we're actually going to skip over that chain one. I'm going to finish my single crochet into my back loop here. I'm going to skip over the chain one and I am going to end it with a single crochet into the first single crochet of round eight. Okay. And then we are going to end it by skipping our chain and single crocheting into the back loop here. Okay, so this is, this is how we end round nine. Okay, so to start round 10, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, this counts as a treble crochet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work one treble crochet into the back loop only, that's this loop back here, of the next three stitches. It's one. two, and three. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we are going to chain two, skip the next two stitches, and treble crochet into the back loop only of the next six treble crochets. So skip, skip, starting here. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We are going to chain two, and we're going to skip the next two stitches. And we are going to make a single, and we're going to make a treble crochet into the back loop only of the next six stitches. Skip, skip, and we're going to start here. That's three, that's four, that's five, and that's six. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to repeat that pattern of chain two, skip two stitches, treble crocheted each of the next stitches in the back loop only, and we're gonna do that all the way around till you get to your last four treble crochets. So one, two, three, four. So you'll be stopping here. And when we get there, I'll come back and show you how to finish round 10. Okay, so here we are at the end of round 10. I have four stitches left. Okay, so I'm stopping at one, two, three, and four. I'm going to chain two and I'm going to skip two stitches. So one, two, and then I am going to treble crochet into the back loop only of the next two stitches. Okay. 
Okay. Now remember that this chain four at the start of the round counted as a treble crochet. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six, just like I've done all the way around. Okay. So I am going to slip stitch to the top of the chain four to close. One, two, three, and four. Okay. And I have just ended round 10. Before we start round 11, I want you to note that in round 10, we increased our treble crochets again by one, whereas in, a round, whereas in round seven, we had five treble crochets. Now we have six treble crochets in round 10. So for round 11, we're gonna again, make another increase where we're going to be having seven treble crochets. So to start round 11, let's chain four. One, two, three, four. This counts as a treble crochet. And then we're going to treble crochet into each of the next treble crochets, th each of the next three treble crochets. So that's one, two, and three. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to place three treble crochets into the chain two space. One, two, and three. And as you can see here, we have now increased to seven treble crochets. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We are going to chain two. We are going to skip the next two treble crochets, and we are going to put a treble crochet into each of the next four treble crochets. That's one, two, three, and four. To make seven, we're gonna go ahead and put three treble crochets into the next chain two space. One. Two. And three. And we should have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are going to chain two. We are going to skip two. We are going to put a treble crochet in each of the next four stitches. Three treble crochets into the chain two space. And we're going to do this all the way around. Okay, and where we should end is we should end with three treble crochets in this final chain two space. Then we are going to chain two and we're going to close it off by slip stitching to the top of the chain four. So let's go ahead all the way around. I'm going to come back here when I get to the three treble crochets into this chain two space and we will close it off together. All right, so here we are at the end of round 11. I have completed my seven treble crochets. There were three in this last chain two space. So what I'm going to do to close this is just chain two. And then I'm going to slip stitch to the top of the chain four to close. One, two, three, and four right in here. And that's how we are going to close 
round 11. So for round 12, we are going to again do an increase. We are going to go from seven treble crochets to eight treble crochets to start this. So to start round 12, you're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. six. This counts as a treble crochet and a chain two. So we're going to skip the next two treble crochets and we're going to actually work two treble crochets into the next treble crochet. Okay, so that's two. And then we are going to go ahead and work a treble crochet into each of the next three treble crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, this, this, gives, us, this gives us five treble crochets. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna work, now we're gonna work, and now we're gonna work three treble crochets into the chain two space. One, two, and three. Okay, and now we're going to chain two. We're going to skip our next two stitches, and we're going to place one treble crochet in the next five treble crochets. So we're skipping here and here, and we're going into this stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and then we are going to work three treble crochets into the chain two space. One, two, and three. Okay, and what you can notice here is that we are now increasing from seven crochet, seven, seven treble crochets to eight treble crochets. So again, we're going to chain two. We're going to skip to one treble crochet into each of the next five treble crochets, three treble crochets into the chain two, chain two into the chain two space, and we're going to do that all the way around. And when we get back here, I will come back and show you how to close round twelve. Okay, so we are now at the end of round twelve. I have one, two, three, four, five treble crochets. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place two treble crochets into the final chain two space instead of three. This gives me six and number seven. Okay, and then this chain six is my number eight that goes in with this. So we are going to slip stitch to the fourth chain from, so we're going to slip to, so we're going to slip stitch to the fourth chain one two three four leaving these two stitches as our chain two okay and we have just completed round 12. before we go on to round 13 we are going to go ahead and block our our beret as so to block your beret you can use any blocking method that you prefer whether it be uh, straight pins, a blocking board, and a spray bottle. Um, it could also be an iron. It could be a steamer, whichever one you prefer. What I have here is I like to put down a damp towel. Okay, so I'm going to make this a little more damp. I've got a spray bottle here. Okay. And then I'm going to lay my beret out. And I'm going to get a little bit, a little bit wet here. This one seems to have curled a little bit more than typical. Okay, and then I'm actually going to use a steamer 
just to kind of go around. And as I do that, I'm going to kind of lay it down flat as I go. Okay. Okay. So it might take several rounds of steaming. The other thing that you could do if you have an iron available to you, my favorite method, is to then put another damp towel on top of the beret and then iron it out. Unfortunately, I am without an iron currently, so I'm gonna go ahead with this steamer. And I'm gonna keep doing this until my hat, until my beret is perfectly flat, okay? So once I have it like that, we're gonna come back and I will show you how to move on. Okay, so now we have blocked our beret and it should be measuring in about 12 inches in diameter. Okay, and now that we have that ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and move on to round 13. We're gonna start off round 13 by chaining one. Now that we've chained one, we are going to single crochet in the next two chain spaces. One and two. Okay. And then we are going to single crochet two together, the next two treble crochets. So that's this one and this one. If you don't know how to do the single crochet two together, I do have a tutorial on that. I will put a link in the video or in the description. So what we're going to do is we are going to insert our hook into our first stitch. We're going to yarn over and pull through. We're going to insert our hook into our next stitch. We're going to yarn over and pull through two. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through all three. And we have just turned these two stitches into one stitch. Okay, and then we're going to single crochet in each of the next six treble crochets. One. two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. We're going to go ahead and single crochet in the chain two space and work a second single crochet into the chain two space. Then we're going to single crochet two together, these first two stitches. And then we are going to single crochet in each of the next six treble crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five and six and we're going to keep repeating that throughout all the way around our all the way around our beret so it's two single crochet crochets into the chain two space single crochet two together the next two treble crochets and then single crochet in each of the next six treble crochets and repeat okay. that and around. so what you probably can already tell is that the edge is already starting to come up now, in the first part of our pattern, what we did is we expanded our beret by adding one stitch with each round. Now we're going to be reducing in this round and bringing it back together so that that hat, that beret, comes in. And that way it will actually fit our head. So here we are at the end of round 13. And what we want to do here is slip stitch to the chain one, which is this little stitch right here to close the round, okay? All right, so round 13 is now closed. So it's at this point in the pattern which your sizes will begin to vary for a small, a medium, and a large beret. You're going to need to take a look at the pattern and decide and determine 
what you need to do for your size. I'm doing a size small, so I'm gonna continue forward with round 14 for a size small. So for round 14, I'm going to chain one. I'm going to then single crochet in the same stitch as this chain one right here, as the chain one, which is right in here. And this can be a little tricky to get into, but we have it. Okay. And then we're going to single crochet into the back loop only of the next two stitches. So that is right here and right here. Okay. Then we're going to single crochet two together in the back loop only of the next two stitches. So here in this stitch and in the back loop only of this stitch, yarn over, pull through. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and do single crochet into the back loop only of each of the next seven stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, we are now going to single crochet two together the next two stitches in the back loop only. And then single crochet in the back loop only of the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, and we're gonna re repeat that pattern of a single crochet two together in the back loop only, and then single crochet in the back loop only of the next seven stitches. And we're gonna follow that all the way around for round 14. And we get back to the beginning here, I will show you how to end this round. Okay, so I'm at the end of round 14. I have placed a single crochet into the back loop only of the final stitch. What I want to do right here is I want to go ahead and place a stitch marker here in this final single crochet. And then I want to slip stitch to the chain one to close. And that's right here. So we're going to slip stitch here to close the round. Okay, now for round 15, we're not going to chain one. We're going to crochet continuously and what we are going to do is we are going to single crochet two together in the back loop only of the next two stitches. Okay. And then we're going to single crochet in the back loop only of the next six stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're gonna continue repeating that. We're going to single crochet two together in the back loop only the next two stitches. And then single crochet in the back loop, loop only of the next five stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and we're going to continue in that pattern all the way around. Single crochet two together in the back loop, single crochet in the next six stitches, and all the way around. And we get back to our stitch marker. I'll show you how to close this round. So here we are at the end of round 15. I am back to my stitch marker, and I'm going to continue for row 16. I'm going to continue crocheting continuously, doing exactly the same thing. I am going to single crochet in the back loop only. To, I am going to single crochet two together in the back loop only the next two stitches. Okay, and now I'm going to single crochet 
in the back loop only of the next five stitches. One, two, three, three, four, and five. And we're gonna start that pattern again. We're going to single crochet two together in the back loop only, the next two stitches. And then we're gonna single crochet in the back loop only of the next five stitches. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, and we're going to start again with single crochet two together in the back loop only of the next two stitches and then single crochet in the next five stitches in the back loop only and we're going to, and we're going to do that all the way around until we get back to the beginning which is right here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and mark this with my stitch marker so I know where my beginning is. Okay, so when we get back there, I'll meet you right back here and I will show you how to close up the final round of this beret. Here we are at the end of round 16 and to finish this off we're going to go ahead take out our stitch marker and we're just going to make a slip stitch into the very first stitch here. There we go and then we just bind this off and we'll weave in our ends and now this looks a little funny doesn't it right because this is actually the inside of your beret and this is the outside of your beret. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're actually going to want to flip it the other way. And there we have it. The Capriana beret. Now, one thing you can do if you would like a longer lip right here this is the part that is going to go down over your forehead. So if you'd like this to be longer before you flip it, okay? So let's pretend we haven't flipped it. All right, and we're back over here. What you can do, oops, and actually we're going to return this way because this is the way it went. And what you can do, instead of binding off here, instead of slip stitching to close here, you can continue crocheting continuously in the back loop only, doing single crochets all the way around making no single crochet two togethers. That's no reductions. Just keep going around with single crochets in the back loop only to extend this as long to be as long as you want it to be. Slip stitch to close it off as we did here. Snip here, weave everything in, and then turn your beret right side out. And when those added rows are there, when those added rounds are there, you'll see that the slip will be much longer. Okay, but that is how you crochet the Capriana Beret. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great crochet tutorials and patterns.